Hi there and welcome back. Dan again from Clean Guru. So why do rich and successful cleaning businesses tend to get richer and become more successful? Why is that? Well, there's probably a lot of reasons. They, they tend to stay organized, get organized, stay organized. They tend to fix problems and keep them fixed by creating systems, procedures, right? They tend to identify and develop, uh, delegate to and develop people in a unique way to create a real solid team. But the one thing also I want to look at today that rich and successful cleaning companies do is they tend to manage and overcome their fear when it comes time to make needed change. To make needed change. I'll take quick two quick examples. When it comes to raising prices, they don't recklessly raise all their prices. They thoughtfully and strategically raise certain prices, let's say. Now they may also have general increases, but I'm saying they keep an eye on their account on their accounts. And they know the PL by month. They know how they're doing it. And if they have, if they find they have a handful of accounts that are just a real problem, they analyze them. They see if they can change how they're clean, the equipment that's used. But in the end, they may have to approach certain selective customers to re to increase the price strategically to make it work. And that is a thoughtful way of overcoming the fear of doing that. When you're a small struggling cleaning company, and I can relate to this, you're very often afraid to raise prices because you're scared, you know, will I have enough business? Well, at least I have a customer. Now, the fact is you may be losing your shirt on it, but at least you feel like you have a customer. Successful companies tend to deal with that differently. What about when it comes to personnel? What about people? You know, today it's so hard to find and keep good people. So just like with keeping accounts, you might be afraid as a struggling service, how am I going to keep all my people? Well, you don't want to necessarily keep all your people. You want to keep the good ones. And if you have a few, just like a few problem customers that are too low their price, if you have a few problem people, you want to strategically work with them, try to develop them, try to improve them, correct the behavior. If you can't though, in the end, then strategically, thoughtfully, you may have to work them out of your company. You may have to fire a person here then at times and overcome that fear. So whether it's customers raising prices, whether it's people, managing and overcoming your fear is a big thing and it's a very natural thing to have happen. But successful rich companies tend to do that and we can start to capture that same kind of approach that they do. Until next time, remember that you can do this. You really can.